so much for tuning into cooking with mrs obiago today we're going to be making local jollof rice i saw this picture on social media and i put it on my instagram story and a lot of people were asking i put it and the caption was um uh, on my to-do list <laughs> because i really wanted to make it and i got a lot of uh, people asking for the recipe some said when you cook it i want to see it and so i decided to add that to one of the things that to cook so here we are today making the the prominent thing that i remember from that rice was the oporo dried shrimps dried prawn everyone calls it something different oporo um, was in the rice and we're going to be using dry fish i have my dry fish pre-soaking already uh in hot water i'm going to pieces this dry fish we're going to be using that we have our beef seasoning we have our citizens cameroon pepper black cameroon, cameroon pepper i like spicy and so uh this pepper is spicy but it also has a taste and aroma a, a scent that it gives the food as well so i always like cooking with that we have our crayfish we have salt we have our oil we have onions ginger our tomato our red bell pepper and our fresh pepper so we're gonna we're going to go ahead and uh let's go ahead and cut the ginger and the onions everyone has different ways of of uh, cooking or mixing their ginger with their food some people like to dice it and fry with the onions some like to blend it with the tomato pepper tatashi however you want i'm sure professional chefs will tell you there's a certain way to make sure that the flavor gets into the food i'm not a professional chef i'm just doing it the way that i do it in my kitchen and um, i'm going to go ahead and do that let's see so i'm going to go ahead and i like to cut it into tiny bits tiny tiny bits just like onions i like to cut it like onions and i'm gonna fry with my onions okay this knife i'm always afraid of knife for i want to cut myself let's see okay and just because we want it to be fast we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of them at the same time Okay, so see, doesn't have to be fancy. If you have kids that don't like to see onions in the food, you make it as tiny as you can. Otherwise, this is good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and blend the pepper and the tomatoes. And we're going to go over here to my little friend. One of my best friends in my kitchen is my food processor. I've had it like forever. It's been very faithful to me. I use it to blend everything, chop, everything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my oil. Let's go ahead and start our sauce for the rice. So remember, we're trying to do things right. We're trying to use oil, but always gentle on the oil, okay? So here we go. I'm just going to put enough oil. Wow. So now we have to wait for this oil to get hot so that we can put our onions and everything and get that sizzling sound that we like. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to go ahead and get our prawns ready. These are dry shrimps, dry shrimps, uh, prawns, oporo, all the way from West Africa, uh, Nigeria. Um, it is smoked um, over um, firewood. So it has that smoky taste and um, it gives food a lot of flavor. You can actually be eating this way. You don't have to cook 
is used to garnish food, uh, local um, local salad. Um, this is put over local local salad. It's also used for soup, for stew, pepper soup, whatever. There's no there's nothing you can cook with this. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot water just to get it soft. I always have hot water ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put hot water and just let it sit like our dry fish is sitting as well. And now we're going to go ahead and put our onions and our garlic in here. We got seasoning sound that we want. Right. So now we're gonna stir. And because this is local jollof, I'm not going to put curry or thyme, because usually curry and thyme is one of the main spices that we use in making stew. Uh, so making uh, jollof rice is just making stew and then putting rice inside to cook. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and add some tomatoes. This is our tomato and uh, our tomato and red bell pepper mix. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Remember, we went ahead and blended a lot. I'm not using all of it, but I was like, why not? Let's blend it all. So this is tomato red bell pepper. Then I'm going to put a tablespoon of tomato paste. Tomato paste is going to help. Look at how red that is. It's going to help to give it a really red, red uh, color, make it look really good. So we're gonna let that simmer for a while, about five minutes, and then we're going to add our dry fish. Okay. While that is simmering, we're going to go ahead and debone our fish okay so i've deboned my fish i'm going to put the fish in now and i'm also going to put my crayfish because i want to make sure that i get all that flavor of the fish into this tomato sauce um tomato stew sauce that is going to be making our jollof rice so i'm going to go ahead and put the fish put the fish then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle for a fish. Then I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle salt. I'm going to go ahead and add Cameroon pepper, citizen spice, Cameroon pepper. It's going to give it some nice taste and spice, make it real spicy. I'm going to add some beef seasoning. And then I'm going to stir. And we're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes, okay? And then we're going to wash our rice. We'll put our rice. And the next thing that will go in after our rice will be a little bit of fresh pepper and our dry prawns shrimp opal okay so let's cover this and let it simmer for about 10 minutes and we'll check and see how it's going here okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and stir okay this is good so i went ahead and i turned down the heat and I'm gonna taste. Mm -hmm. Tastes really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash the rice. You see our prawns because we put it in water now. It's soft. 
ready to go in there you can eat it like this or it's ready for our food now i'm going to go ahead and put the hot water in the rice so i can wash it And now we're going to put water. And when we put this water, we're going to let this boil and then we're gonna turn down the heat so that this rice can get all the flavor in everything that we've put in here, okay? I can always have hot water ready. I'm putting hot water. You can also use chicken broth, whatever you want to use. And when you put your water, I want your water to completely cover your rice. Okay, water completely covers your rice so just imagine you're boiling rice for stew right it's the same thing just that we're going to turn it down when it boils now that i've put my water this is when i usually do my second to last tasting i'm going to taste it to see if i need salt i yes i need a little bit more salt this is when you want to get your taste right. It's a pinch of salt. I'm going to put a pinch of a pinch of our beef beef seasoning. See, that's the good thing about cooking. You can always adjust your to taste. Okay, don't be afraid to taste and add whatever you think is missing. All right, so now it's going to boil. When it boils, then we're going to turn down the heat. Then it's going to slowly cook and absorb. You know, like the crayfish and the beef seasoning, the salt and the smokiness of the dry fish for this local jello fries. So for some people, this would be okay. Some people like their rice firm, but I like mine a little bit soft. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, and this is how I usually put what I just make space. I put a little bit in there and I'm going to leave it on the low heat, turn it up a little bit the medium another five to ten minutes and our rice should be ready i can't wait to eat this food i'm starving okay so it's been about 10 minutes let's go ahead and check this rice and you know when you're making jello fries it's okay if it burns though there's no there's no rule on it not burning and i don't even have to taste it to see that it's soft the way that i like it it's different for everybody, but for me, this is good. And our rice is ready. I'm going to go ahead and dish it and show you guys what it looks like. Thank you guys for watching. This is our final product. I went ahead and dished it out for you to see. Um, you can see the, the all the stuff we put in there, the fresh pepper and all. We use the Citizens Black Cameroon pepper to give it that zest, that spice. You can see the smoked shrimps, the opero in there and the dry fish uh thank you for watching our spices and products are available at www.citizenfoodproduct.com place your orders if you have any questions we'll be more than happy to answer them for you thank you for watching subscribe to the channel cooking with mrs obiago i appreciate you guys thank you god bless you and eat right live right thank you guys so much thank you Bye bye